in the last video I just recorded, I literally just turned off record and started recording again because I wanted to say one more thing. I'm probably not gonna, I might even make this a different video because I don't know how I'm gonna, how long I'm gonna talk right now. But self-improvement videos are made to be addicting. That's why I haven't been over editing my videos lately. I haven't, like honestly, editing was starting to become fun. But then I realized like, damn, my videos are actually getting good. Like, I mean, that, that might sound kind of counterproductive, kind of stupid to you guys. But one, one YouTuber I watch a decent amount and one YouTube, like I used to watch this guy all the time. His name's Hamza. He's all over YouTube. If you watch my self-improvement videos, you probably have heard of his self-improvement content as well. And his main channel, he's dedicated that to kind of hooking people into self-improvement, which, I mean, you can kind of, you can say whatever you want about Hamza. You can say he's doing it for money, clout, whatever. But I've been watching his videos for a while. I kind of feel like I, I feel like I know him personally, to be honest, which is one reason why I've started to make these videos because I don't want to over edit my stuff. I don't want to make it super addicting so that you guys are trying to give me money and whatever but I want to be authentic and I want to have a connection with you guys and Hamza has one channel where he does that he makes it super over stimulating over addictive over edited and I used to be addicted to those videos I'm not even gonna lie but he started a second channel where it's just him talking to the camera and for someone like me in the past who had no attention span to even sit down for 30 seconds and like for me, it was impossible to watch his second channel at first because it's just him talking to the camera. His first channel is to be addictive and to get people who are, like I don't want to stereotype anyone, but like TikTok kids who just scroll on TikTok all day or people who like were basically like me who played video games, watch YouTube all fucking day long and they can't sit still. That's why, I, I, honestly, he's one of the biggest reasons why I started to get into self-improvement. And one thing I think is funny is that he literally tells his audience that he makes his videos addictive on purpose so that he can hook people to his videos. Because he, he's trying to start a big movement where he gets as many people as possible on self-improvement and I completely respect him for that. And because like when you're on TikTok all day and when you're on YouTube all day, it's hard to find this kind of self-improvement stuff interesting. And even if you do come across this content if it's not super stimulating addicting like the type of videos that you're used to you're not going to want to stick around you're not going to want to watch it i think it's interesting how he literally comes out oh my gosh there's some baby geese hold up can you see the babies i don't want to get too close but there's little little babies oh shit right over there i'm gonna wrap this video up because i gotta i want to stare at some baby ducks a bunch of baby ducks send them to the moon <laughs> you know what that is you're the goat but anyway just be aware of when you're consuming self-improvement content and try to get towards that like what I did at first is I watched these over edited over stimulating videos and then over time I went towards the sort of podcast longer type of videos, non over edited, just kind of videos like this where I can listen and go throughout my day, which I hope you kind of watch my videos sort of like that. You watch them like a podcast where you just listen and go throughout your day. But either way, I thank you for watching my videos and I hope that they're not super over stimulating and super, super over addictive. Like many of these apps on this video, <laughs> like many videos on this app, are meant to be because they're meant to make someone money they're meant to keep someone's business running just keep that in mind